What the heck? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I have a challenge for you today. So I'm here in sunny Florida. Was in town for a wedding. Wes, our lead producer at Guggen Squad, he was getting married. All of us, we came down here, we had a good time, we went to the wedding, it was beautiful. And wishing Wes on his merry way, him and his wife. I find myself here, I have a little time. Before I have to go to the airport, I have a reel. That is all I have. I need a rod. I do have line on the reel actually. Here in Florida, there are so many ponds, fish in every single one of them. So. It's a beautiful situation for any bass fisherman coming down here. Right now I'm walking to a sporting goods store. I'm gonna go get some stuff from scratch, bring it back here, and fish this little community pond that says catch and release only. I guess the first part of this challenge is actually getting to the store. It's 1.6 miles away. Oh, I just dropped a battery. I am scooting here, and I'm literally passing even more bodies of water to fish as I'm getting to the store. Look at this. They're everywhere. Florida, you're awesome. I love you. This one has a fence around it. That means it's probably really good. Almost there, and we are passing a huge pond right here with some drainages on the sides. There's a big purple hose, not sure what that's for. And this looks pretty good right here, doing a little investigation. Besides the trash. Okay, I need a rod. I need some lures. I'm thinking a spinner bait and some plastics. Okay, number one, you guys, they don't have Guggen baits here. Shame on you, Academy of Jacksonville. But maybe they will, soon. I am using a rod combo, or a reel, off of a combo that is a Guggen Squad combo. It's an all-purpose, uh, multi-species, just really strong, tough, parabolic bend rod. And all I have is the reel. I couldn't pack the rod because I was flying on an airplane the carry-on. Pawn D-Lights. Here we go. 3 8 ounce chartreuse and white. Uh, Willow and Colorado tandem. Cannot beat that. $3.99. We'll give it a whirl. Okay. Hooks, hooks, hooks. I'm going with a weightless bait because I'm, I'm using a soft rod. So we need like an open exposed hook. Probably go with like a wacky rig situation. Hmm. 99 cents for a hook, for all these hooks. We're good to go. Not even gonna lie, that walk it was kind of a doozy. So I called an Uber, come pick me up. It was like a 30 minute walk, guys. Boy, that's a tiny one. All right, going fishing. Going fishing, man. Awesome. Got me a pole, got me some, some lures. I just had an itch I had to scratch, you know what I mean? Hey man, I understand it, man. I, I get that itch every now and then. To go fishing? Yeah, every now and then. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not winning any style awards on this one. This is just a emergency dangle. We've got our Guggen Squad reel. Beautiful, bright green, brown, and black rod, which doesn't make sense and is definitely not pretty. We have found it. It happens to be back here in the deep woods though with the gators and such. Man, I've been strolling, literally strolling with my bag here for about 0.7 miles. So I'm just ready to sit down and, oh, no way, this says no fishing. Get the hell out of here. It's probably really good then. What the heck? Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. I know it says no fishing, but please don't tell anybody. This is where I'm going to get some fish. For sure. I'm gonna sit down here and give myself a low profile. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got him. Hooked up. Hooked up. There we go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Nice. This guy absolutely choked it. Just a little dude, but that is a Florida bass caught. It smells good, baby. God. 
caught right by a no fishing sign. Hmm. There we go. A little better. Just sucked it in like a little candy corn. Oh, beautiful dark Florida bass. Mm -mm -mm. Man, when they're taking it, it is just goners. Okay, buddy, got you unhooked. Seeing you on your way. Man, he just gobble gurped it. Two Florida sniffs, baby. Came down here, I was able to acquire some equipment uh, at a local sporting goods store and we're getting it done right now. I'm walking around this place. This is a big pond and it's beautiful. Fish should be spawning somewhere too. So I'm kind of giving it a little peek over the side to see if any fish are like right on the edge, all bedded up. But I think I'm gonna stick with that little weightless bait since it is so clear. Maybe switch colors, go to a black and blue color that I got as well. There's a nice little pathway down here. Obviously people come down here and fish or do something down here, but I'm taking it as a sign that I need to walk around and I need to fish. So screw that no fishing sign, you know what I mean? You guys are basically just looking at a bush right now, but the lure is about 30 feet out there, working it, trying to, trying to dodge the trees. Wow, wow. This is a very difficult dangle here in this foliage. Gonna make a little color switcheroo here. Go with the classic Florida June bug. Dark purple color. Yep. See the way I'm rigging that? I'm not just going through uh, the exact middle of the bait, kind of going through the uh, the side and coming out. I feel like it holds on there a little better that way. Come on, fish, I need you. Need one more out of this beautiful pond. Oh my, that is some wind. Oh, is that a bite? That's a fish, that's a fish, come here buddy. Oh yeah, oh he had it. Little guy though, little guy, gobbled it. It's what you call a young squirt right there. Young squirt, didn't really make a splash. He wanted that June bug though. Come on back now, come on back. All right, so I've had a lot of bites in this area. I don't know if there's something going on here. Good structure around the way, but I've had three, three bites. Oh, got him right there. Oh, shoot. Oh, he come off. Okay, I got my third fish out of here. Feel good about it. Little, little log stuck in my wheel on my luggage. I'm going to start walking towards uh, the main highway and go fish over there, some of the ponds there. Um, I think it might rain. It rains almost every day here in Florida. So, could become an issue. I've got uh, about three hours left until I've got to go to the airport. So I've got plenty of time to catch some more fish, but found this one, even though it said no fishing. That's always the best places to go, in my opinion. Because you know it's gonna be good. Weather's looking like 100% chance of rain over the course of the next hour, so this is not going anywhere. This is tough. I'm ready to catch a few more, give them some good solid sniffs, and get back to good old Tate House. See my girls, I'm missing them. Okay, after a little rain delay, pond number two now. Much bigger and wide open. When you come to these ponds, it's you never really know like where where the fish are gonna set up. Usually though, it is close to the edge. There's usually just uh, stuff like built up around the edge of the pond rather than out in the middle. They're not very deep, so there's not any different. Uh... Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him. Thumped it hard. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Oh, I thought he was a lot bigger but he just, it was like a hard smack. He thumped it good. Heck yeah. Second pond, fourth fish. Wah bam. That's the kind of bite I like. Just a thump. Hit it good. Oh, there's another one. 
got him. Same size. Maybe a little smaller. When you're feeling like a tap, tap, most of the time it's one about that size. And then, you know, two, three pound bass, I got no problem just sucking in a, a plastic like this. Just one, one pump. Maybe this rain has helped turn them on a little bit. Oh, there's one. He's got it. Got it. Little one. Boing! <laughs> Woo! Need to turn the drag down on this reel a little bit. Just smoking them. Heck yeah, there's three fish in three minutes here at this next one. Next little hole. But they're not big. Honkers. Hit the like button for honkers. Going back in. Right there. There we go. Get something a little bigger, but hey. Oh my gosh, I just threw that off. Fish is completely going to eat that one. Wow. Must have hit a little soft spot on that one. Well, uh, didn't have the audio section there. It's rolling on my other camera, but there is a nice, nice fish. Did not expect to get that one. Well, I was trying to get a photo with that guy, but he decided he didn't want to be on camera. So he flopped himself back in. I'm seeing a lot of kids around here just uh, fishing these ponds now, just really enjoying fishing. So many opportunities here as a kid to just have access to fishable waters and be able to go bass fishing. It's awesome. Man, I love it. So uh, there's there's a father-son down here, jazzed about fishing. He's running back and forth from the bait to the water. Like, I could just tell he's super excited. So since I can't carry this rod with me, uh, I think I'm just gonna give him the whole combo. And even the lures that I'm catching them on, just to tell them, you know, I, jazzed them up over there in that corner. I've caught so many fish, y'all. And there just comes a point where you wanna pass it on, especially now being a dad. Like, I love teaching people how to fish and, and helping them out around the lake. That's one of the reasons I started making YouTube videos in the first place. So, I'm gonna walk over there, I'm gonna give them this combo here. And uh, hopefully they'll enjoy it, catch the fish on it. And then I gotta get on one of those guys. And head back to my girls. Hey, how's it going? I was gonna give you my fishing pole, but yeah, if you want it. I'm heading to the airport. Oh. So if you if you want uh, if you want an extra rod. You sure? Yeah, man, I'm sure. I got plenty. My name's Justin. Jason, by the way. Um, I was catching them on that purple worm on the other in the other pond, 20, 30 feet out from the bank. Yeah. Over on the other one, but. Ten Yeah, y'all have a good one. <sighs> I was trying to track down that father and son to give them that combo and then they were leaving and I couldn't catch up to them. Uh, then I spotted more people on the other side and it was actually a father with uh, a couple of his daughters. So it was, it was actually more fitting for me, I think, to, uh, to give it to them. But I came up at a terrible time. She like just stubbed her toe or fell in the water or something like that. And I'm just standing there awkwardly uh, and I'm like, hey, you wanna need my fishing pole? Timing wasn't quite right, but the deed was good. And sometimes it is just as simple as a hook and a worm. And if you guys want to get your hands on a Guggen Squad Rod and Reel combo, they are available at some Walmarts and some Dick stores, I believe, uh, just at select ones. They weren't at every one. That was my plan was to go get one here since I didn't have a, a fishing rod with me and then uh, show you guys the whole thing. My Uber's gonna be here any minute, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm gonna be heading back to Texas. Thank you for coming with me on this adventurous dangle, and I will see you on the next one.